under her Ghana. Part of the progress. I wish we had a mentor mentor her shirt. So I have brought some friends with me because I was telling them about our amazing program that we had, our Mentee Appreciation Day, and everybody said, I want to come meet them. I want to talk to them. So I said, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so they're here to meet you. Hey. So let me introduce everybody. This is Miss Sandrine. She's from, um, the, well, United States, but yes. by way of the Caribbean, from an island called Dominica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Deja. She is from <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. How many people heard of New York? Raise your hand. You heard of New York? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so they know the thing. <laughs> and <laughs> this is Miss Yvonne. How many people have seen her before? She's been here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. okay. So now she's on TV. <laughs> you know her. She's <laughs> And this is Miss Charity. And uh, she is Ghanaian from the Upper West region. And she now lives in Accra. And she's one of our good friends. And she wanted to come speak to you, too. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so each of my amazing friends here have wonderful jobs. They have beautiful jobs, and they know that you are ambitious, that you are driven girls, and they want to share their careers with you. <laughs> okay. You have to say, my name is whatever your name is, and I am something that starts with the first letter of your name. Oh, okay. okay. So, like, the girls know, my name is Kendra, and I like Kelly Willie. Kelly Willie. Oh, they can No, Kelly Willie. Yes. <laughs> Why are so 
shy now and I hooked y'all. Everybody. <laughs> hey ladies. Hi. <laughs> so my name is uh Deja. I don't want to say Mix because that's not over. Deja. <laughs> and I am from Brooklyn, New York. Who knows where New York City is? <laughs> okay, so I come from a huge city where um, it was kind of a rough neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York, but my mom made sure that me and my brother traveled often. And I believe that traveling opened my mind to think that, to see other cultures, right? And to believe that, um, you know, like Ms. Andrea said also, there's so much more beyond my house, so much more. So, one day, I was sitting at work, I used to work for the United States Postal Service, that was a decent job, but also, I wanted more. I started to question, what is my purpose in life? Have you ladies ever thought about that question? What is my purpose in life? I would also question, when going to school, like, is this something that I really wanted to do because I would think to myself all the time, I don't know exactly at this point in time where I see myself in the future. So I was stuck trying to figure out what is my purpose, what I want to do with my life, all these questions I had as I was your age and growing up. But traveling helped me with that. Traveling helped me have different experiences, helped me with, you know, seeing other cultures and meeting great people. I had this crazy idea that I wanted to travel to all seven continents, right? And Africa and Antarctica were the last two. How ironic because it's completely different, right? Freezing cold and, well, some parts of Africa, extremely hot. For me, that just let me know that what they wanted to do in America was actually working because I never considered visiting Africa as a holiday or a vacation. So I was sad about that because, you know, they say we are all from Africa. And I said that I'm going to go to Africa and just visit and just see what it's like. I came to Africa, not specifically, for the first time in 2015. And I wanted to move. I wanted to live here. I wanted to show my family, friends, and everybody back in America, especially black people, that we have somewhere that we belong, somewhere that we are loved, somewhere we are welcome, because we do face a lot as black African Americans in America. So, I decided to move here in 2019. I brought my entire family here. Um, my youngest cousin, she was six at the time, and she had an amazing time in Ghana. And I do know that some, some people in Ghana or Africa are so, like they want to leave um, where they're from because they don't really see what can ha what can be done here in on the continent or in their country. But we have people like me, we have people like Sandrine, Yvonne, Charity, that we are all doing things here and it is very much possible to make something happen to um, give back to your community. So I started a business here about three years ago and I'm still here and yeah, that's my story. I built a mobile food truck here in Ghana. Again, it's all possible, right? If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So I built a mobile food kitchen here in Ghana, and I sell Jamaican food. So, so that's my business. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just go down the line, okay? Woman King. Okay. A nurse. Okay. Fancy. Oh, that's right. A midwife. Okay. Soldier. By love, respect, and boldness. I am a mentor Ghana girl. I will succeed. I am a mentor Ghana girl. I will succeed. Did you have a good time? Yes. Did you learn anything new today? Yes, I learned more today. <laughs> Millicent. Did you have a good time today? Yeah. Did you learn something new? Yeah. What did you learn? Uh, I learned that I can do my own thing without the influence of people. And I should focus. Yes. Good job. Did you have a good time today? Yeah. Did you learn something new? Yeah. What did you learn? 
<laughs> what did you learn today? I've learned that in order to achieve my goal, I don't have to rely on um, PS decisions. Mm -hmm. I have to make my own decisions mm -hmm. and I have to learn hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what did you learn today? Me, I learned that um, if you want to achieve your goals, you have to you have the first step to follow is to um, let's say believe in yourself, mm, to be bold, that's brave. what you have to do. Take risk, be brave, learn how to achieve your goals, yes. be humble. Yes. If you believe it, you, you can achieve it. Yeah. That should be your mantra. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Thank you. <laughs> First time I eat in Banku. And then what? So you can also so you can also hot or spicy? Spicy, So so fish with my hands too? Yes, you are not doing it. Now use the fire. Use the fire. No, I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Then watch out for So Oh, I can literally eat this every day. Meanwhile, I'm eating chips. No, that's so cool. What do you think of it? See? Yeah, I feel like it's good. Spicy? Good? Uh -huh. Don't be like One out of ten, what would you give it? Um, this is my first try and my first one. I don't know what to compare it to. Mm -hmm. But I'll give it like... Flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, but... Are they both peppers? peppers. Yeah, the green one is Girl. spicy. Oh, like an eight, nine? I don't know. It tastes good to me. <laughs> the fish tastes good. <laughs> this is tearing it up. That's uh, the key. I know, that's right. Turn it. Oh, turn it. Hold here and then turn it. Oh. Yes, now yeah. start eating it. What? Ah. I'm scared of the fish here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Banku fingers. My food baby is happy. Guess <laughs> 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 it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Down. Oh. Mm -hmm. And here my food. <laughs> this is food for babies. <laughs>